protection Give me all your time, touch, money, and attention Alright guys, so I'm here to review for this hair that I am wearing Which is from, let me get my, let me get my stuff It's from White Label Hair And you guys know I have um, worked with them before I did my exotic Eurasian wave hair that everybody keeps asking me to update which I'm gonna update but I just want to give y'all like a precursor in reference to the hair for those who are asking the hair is still the same in my opinion since when I first got it the only difference is it's not as uniform as it was it like the curls after I washed them they drop so they actually look more like this than they did when it was more of that tight ringlet curl so I'm gonna get to that. I'm definitely gonna update the hair because I actually still really like the hair. But to this hair, this is their Brazilian Body Wave, and this is five bundles and a frontal. Y'all know I ain't never had no frontal before, but I'm gonna tell y'all right now, white label hair. This silk based frontal is about that life because I absolutely love it. Just I'm like I don't really think I want to ever go back to a closure now after having this frontal. But I did it like I do all of my um, my wigs that I make with my wefted hair. I just put the wig and I put the frontal. It goes from ear to ear. So the frontal goes from here all the way around. But the silk base is only like from this section from here to here and to here. The rest is still lace on the side. And then I put all my tracks in the back. This hair actually took very well to me like... Because sometimes what happens is when you get body wave hair and you run your fingers through it, the hair sometimes wants to tangle. But this was actually like buttery soft and it just ran, it just went straight through. So that was the good thing about it. It didn't give me no issues. I did co-wash this hair. So this is what it looks like after. This is what it looked like before when I first got it. The only difference was it had that like that s shape you know the body wave shape so that's the only difference that it had but i'll get a close-up so you can kind of see the texture of it it has this loose wave to it it's um after like you pretty much brush the body wave out which i didn't i just finger combed all of this i'm sure if i brush it it'll get much bigger than this um but yeah i love the frontal aspect of it and the fact that the frontal does match the hair texture which is the second time i've worked with white, white label hair and i will say that their their closures and the hair always are on dead point like they match to a t which is great i had to go through which i need to do some more cut like cut because the closure stops right i mean the frontal stops right here so then this is all my tracks in the back and because it was a frontal all my tracks are in the back of the wig versus on the side so my hair is a little heavier at the bottom than it is at the top which this is the first time i ever used a frontal so i'm still kind of like getting familiar with how to install it but yeah i just did what i did with a closure it's just it's pretty much like a big closure at the end of the day is what it is but it does create more flexibility because i can't take this hair and do this on this side too and it'll still be good if i had a closure this will all be tracks right here so that's the good thing about that. Um, now the, the the cons of this hair. Um, the one major con that I've had with this hair is that it sheds a lot. And again, I cut my wefts because um, I was using a frontal, so I I couldn't go from here to here with the wefts. I had to keep them in the back, so I I would have more hair, and I wouldn't be able to use all five bundles. I didn't need all five bundles in. I wanted all five bundles in because of look how big and thick and rich it is. You guys know I love Barbie hair. So when it comes down to it, I love to have big, giant, thick hair. And if I'm given 12 bundles, I'm going to figure out how to put 12 bundles in. So they sent me five bundles in the frontal. So I'll tell you all of the lengths that I do have. Um, I have two 26s. Two twenty sixes and three twenty fours. So my longest is twenty six, my shortest is twenty four, and I don't recall what length my frontal is. I want to say that this frontal is probably about 20, 20 inches, probably. Not really sure um, how long my frontal is. It'll be at the bottom in the description, but I don't really recall how long it actually is but it does give me this nice bang feel the reason why i didn't part it or put it in the ponytail is because i actually want to straighten this hair um to one see how it is once i straighten it and two um see how it looks straight as well but it i can't it has a, a nice depth as far as parting goes so i can get real ignorant with my part with this uh, frontal and also 
I'll probably do it. Oh, I'm just gonna do a demonstration video, which I'll I'll flat iron it on camera and then style it like that, so you guys can kind of see more of it. But this is pretty much my initial review of this hair and how I feel about it. I actually really like it. I know some of you guys ordered my the exotic wave. Um, and then there was like a little bit of issue with that, but everybody who has contacted me, I've contacted them and they went to try to rectify it and fix said situation. So it happens. And I also want to make this very clear because a lot of people don't get this. They'll see me in this hair and then they'll order the hair and then your friend might get her pattern might be exactly like mine. And then you might get a pattern that's similar, but not the same. It might be more of a curl than a wave or it may be more of a wave than a curl and you have to understand the thing about hair especially virgin hair is that the the donors are different so that means that means that if you have a curl pattern and then your friend has a curl pattern her curl pattern and yours may not be the very same so whoever the donor is the hair texture and will change so that's the only way you can guarantee the way you can make sure that y'all get the exact same texture is that the donor is the exact same and or um if the hair was processed if it's processed, you can make sure it looks exactly like it, it looks on mine. So it just really varies. Because I know Ivy reviewed for them too. And her hair texture was different than mine's. So it just really depends on, you know, the donor. And I that's, I mean, I've, I've learned that with hair. Just because somebody hair looks a certain way, you would want it to look like that. But it may come looking a little bit different. Um, it may be a little more... Um, curly it may not be a little more curly it just really depends so yeah um that's my review for this hair again it's very easy it's very low maintenance um it didn't give me no issues as far as washing goes the only gripe that i have with it is that it does shed a lot and i think that has to do with the fact that see like if i do this then i'm, I'm getting like that and I think it might have to do with the fact that i cut my wefts and i wasn't very careful with cutting them so that could that could be really my fault but I'll see, usually after a while, it does subside, you know, and it'll stop. But we'll see. I've had this hair in for, I haven't had it in because it's a wig. So I've been wearing it on and off for about a good week and a half. Um, so it, it tells you on the, when you get your labels, it has their Instagram and their website name. But it also has these do's and don'ts on the front of what you should and you shouldn't do. Of what to and what not to do as far as the hair is concerned. I believe my other ones... I think my exotic wave also came with those instructions. I don't know if it was on a package or in a card, but I know that it did. I remember seeing those instructions somewhere. So I'll come back with a straightening video for this particular hair. Um, it's going to take a while because, um, yeah, I liked it. I don't know if it's going to go back. I got to see. Um, and this is a lot of hair to, to be straightening. So, yeah, when I, when I really get the time to do it, I'll do it. So don't rush me. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. And let me know what you guys think of this hair.